G'day guys, welcome back to a new episode. I haven't started in my car for a while. You might be wondering why, because I'm actually in Sydney. I don't come to Sydney much, but I'm with my mate Jack. You guys remember, we went boat camping. What's going on? I'll put his link below. He's helping me out today a lot. And make sure you sub to him. Got some good videos, a legend bloke. Anyway, in Sydney, I've decided I'm gonna buy a boat. I've been saving for a while. I need to find a perfect boat. Spend a bit of money. I know that it'll just, oh, I'll just, I'll just froth out having a good boat. And I was searching for, I've been searching for a couple of months now, saving up at the same time. From help from you guys, I also work. But yeah, I've saved up enough. And, ugh, I've saved up enough now. And uh, yeah, so I was looking and I found a nice boat over here in Liverpool. So I'm staying at Jack's Night in Cronulla. Hopefully we can go for a fish and cook up. We're actually going to cook up some cold trout from his trip. And everyone says it's amazing. I really want to taste it. It's got some spare. But yeah, we're on the way to have a look at the boat. It looks really good. It looks everything I want. Hopefully it'll just be a good boat and I can buy it and I can take you out straight away. We'll see you there. Eww. We're here in Liverpool. This is the boat. We're about to go out. Hopefully the storm doesn't come while we're out there because we're always going to get wet. But looks like a pretty nice boat. We haven't looked through it. It's got a lot of extras, electric motor. Um, everything's really nice. Like we can't really fault it what we're finding. It's tiny little things but nothing to like go, oh I'm not going to buy it for that. It's a tiny bit of rust but yeah. Take down the water now, see how it runs. Yeah. We've just met Stefan and we're driving down to the boat ramp to test it. We can't really find anything wrong with it. It looks like a great boat, but obviously we have to test the boat. It's a used boat, we want to make sure it floats, make sure the motor runs smoothly. So hopefully it goes all right because it looks like a very nice boat and I reckon we'll do some good diving and fishing out of that. <laughs> Test drive for the boat. Probably nothing wrong with it. We could we kind of find tiny little things like a bit of rust, like nothing major. Like drove real smoothly. It was really quiet, four stroke. It's a really nice boat. It's really well looked after. So I think we're on to a winner here. We'll drive back to his. We'll wash it up and then we'll have to hand over a bit of cash. <laughs> you started pouring down, but I guess the boat's getting washed. We'll still wash it, but we just missed the storm, which is good because. Yeah, we knew we knew there's hail coming. We just had to beat it. Luckily, we did. But it's absolutely I can't hardly see it. <laughs> Got the whole boat hooked up, ready to go on the next trail. Just want to say a big thanks to Stefan no for worries. selling me it. Put it put it down a bit for me. And um, yeah, it's a really clean boat. Goes really nicely. Hopefully, it can serve me for heaps long, and I'll look after it. And yeah, just a big thanks to Stefan. Yeah, and you enjoy it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> all right. Phew. So I spent about 15 minutes ensuring the boat, just thought I'd get that done. And Jack got a bit hungry, so it took ages, but... So what are we doing? I'm um, just doing flour, egg, breadcrumb, the ones for the... We'll put them on the bagels, and um, then we'll just... Cook them in the pan, shall I fry, and we'll cook a few just normally for you. Yeah. Is that a chili? If you're on my, if you've, watched, it out. if you've watched my videos, you know I love my chili. In the trout now, just in some coconut oil.
smaller pieces are ready, so the big ones are going to take just a little bit longer, but have a, have a try. It's the first time I've ever eaten cold trout. Everyone says it's amazing, but here we go. Mm. Any good? <laughs> it's probably one of the best fish I've ever eaten. That's genuinely like one of the best. It's definitely up there, top three easily. It's the best. <laughs> you can tell it's fish by the texture, but it just doesn't have a fishy flavour whatsoever, like some fish do. Melt in your mouth, really white flesh. That was that was good. Just lettuce, tomato, bit of mayo, and a bit of sweet chili. Just add a bit of flavour. First time. Bagel, trout, lettuce, tomato, a couple sauces, here we go. <laughs> That's so good. Really hard to eat, but it's actually so good. Mm. <laughs> we had on the maiden voyage today, we just thought we might as well bring it out. I do want to get a service at home before I take it anywhere crazy because just to make sure, but Jack will show me exactly what to do because I don't know about the sounder and all that stuff. I need to learn it and how to wash it and stuff. So, and that's about it. But hopefully we can get onto some squid and just get a feed and then go home. Ew! It made it. We are in Botany Bay, Sydney. There's the monument right there. If you're from outside Australia, Botany Bay is the place Captain Cook came in before European settlement and he thought this was a great place to make a village or whatever you wanted to do, make a city. We're just gonna flick for some squid just because it's my first time on the boat. We, don't, we didn't want to do anything crazy, but we will just flick for some squid. Hopefully you might get one or two if we don't. We still took it out for a for a drive and it went well it went pretty fast like i was quite impressed it's got an 80 four stroke on it um which isn't the biggest motor you could probably put on this boat but it's still a very good motor reliable yamaha four stroke very quiet so yeah we'll flick for some squid <laughs> oh, quick bait. Well, I'm home now guys, in my driveway, oh, bloody beautiful. Oh. 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 I'm actually using the GoPro 7 now because my GoPro 8 had a mad crack on it. I was out mud crabbing the other day and I brought back this footage but I just can't believe it. Fuck, oh, I my GoPro screen, shit. When did that happen? Got the biggest crack on my GoPro screen. Oh no. I'm using the GoPro 7, had to send the 8 back. Hopefully that will be here soon to use. But yeah, I need to get my boat license. I should have probably done that earlier. I need to get that and then this beast will be going out. So hopefully I can do it next week. Because I'm keen to take this out. and more keen to actually go deep sea fishing than spear fishing because I don't know, I'm just keen to reel up, not knowing what you're gonna get. Bottom dropping to the bottom, maybe snap and now we go, who knows? But I'm just keen to do that. I'll take this guy in for a service as well. The guy who sold it did say it got serviced lately, which I believe him, but you know, just for peace of mind, I just wanna get it serviced and hopefully be able to take it out soon. I should be able to set my swag up here as well. 
there's enough room for my swag, so you think what I'm thinking? Anyway, the other day I took my drone out to a little island kind of thing near where I live, and um, yeah, flew my drone. I'll throw back that footage now. It was a pretty sick little sunset, flying over the water, wasn't amazing, but it was cool to take some selfies with the drone. Anyway guys, that's it for another episode. Thanks again to Jack for helping me out, don't forget his link will be below, and Stefan for selling me the boat, hopefully I can put a lot of years into this beast, hopefully I can catch a lot of fish, deck some big monsters on here. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you for the support, I do really appreciate it.